So I, I think this first half hour before the scheduled time, I can just kind of recap where things are at. So I did uh, make some more hoppers, uh, which is not even a modded thing, right? But this works. And so we can have a bunch of the resources have been out mining going into the macerator. So we're doubling our uh, ore output. It's gonna load eventually. Uh, yeah, that is running. Good, 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 good. Should have lots of charcoal uh, in there. Good, good. Um, yeah, so I've been doing a lot of mining and a lot of um, just keeping all of this running. And uh, I did, I think where we left off last time was getting materials together to make the, um, what's it called? Let's see, in the steam tier. Uh, let's see, blast off, steel ingots, so that ends up being a multi-block goals, this thing, the, uh, the bricked blast furnace, right? So there was a bunch of things, and we started working on this at the end of, uh, last stream, or through the last stream, uh, last Monday, rather, and, uh, so we made a lot of progress, but there were some, some things that weren't quite done, so I finished gathering a lot of the materials, there's some final steps to kind of assemble everything. And so that's uh, one of the things I want to do today and actually make some steel. Uh, so that, that's kind of the objective of, of today because it's going to unlock a lot of things in the quest book. And uh, then in terms of machinery and such. Um, the other thing, so I we, we are kind of full up now on uh, creosote in the coke ovens. And to keep it running a little bit, I just dug a little pit <laughs> and threw some in. We need to make a tank uh, and do some of that work. Uh, so we'll do that. The other thing I went around and did is um, once I figured out how to turn on the chunk border stuff, which is like, um, it's like F7 or F9. There we go. So we can see where the chunk boundaries are. That will be really important as we do more multi-block structures. Do we have game sounds? Yeah, we do. Good. As we do more multi-block structures, it'll be really important to uh, keep them not crossing chunk boundaries. But uh, that's where the... Um, I put this cobblestone to kind of outline the chunk that we built this little tree in. I've also cut down more of the tree. Hey, Nate. Uh, got stuck again. Hopefully tomorrow you're still at the airport, huh? My day's been good. It's been kind of a lazy day. I've been uh, watching some videos, and uh, I did some video editing earlier today. Finally got that done, and some of it processed. Um, how's, how's being stuck at the airport treating you? I assume that's what you mean uh, when you say you get stuck again. One of the things I did uh, the other day, I was talking with, uh, I think Foxy was here, <laughs> Foxy Blue was here, and we were chatting, and something about having a bunch of cherry trees. Uh, and I knew, I thought I knew that I came across some cherry trees at one point, but I couldn't find them. They were actually like right over there or something. Uh, so I went around and I eventually found another cherry tree. And I started bringing cherries back and making more cherry trees. And so now we have a few running along the path. Uh, Nate says, we came to the hotel, it looks uh, nice here, but bad, uh, bad at home. Ah, the weather, it's not good. Uh, so we get some, some cherry, cheese, cherry trees going, um, which we'll be able to use for things. I do eventually want to, um, I think it would be nice to have because there's all sorts of fruit trees in this pack. We could do an orchard of like a tree of every kind of fruit. Uh, but haven't done that yet. But per <laughs> per Foxy's request, I put down some cherry trees. We also have some of these sakura uh, trees that are prettier to look at than the you know oak tree plus cherries on it. So it's a it's a morsel. It's not like an amazing food item, but it's uh you know 
something we can combine with other things, which is important. I did go back down and get some more lava as well, uh, just kind of recapping the things since the last stream. I also uh, died <laughs> several more times. Uh, as it turns out, so this, this large bronze fluid pipe right here, it's very hot. It's got molten metal in it. If you touch this in like two ticks, <laughs> you will uh, lose all your hearts. So, uh, it took me two go-arounds to realize that was what was happening. Uh, let's see. I started cleaning up, uh, kind of removing a lot of the old farms. Uh, and kind of, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I open the lunch, lunch box. Hey, Alex. Thanks for keeping me tabbed. Um, I made some newer food items. So a cup of coffee is actually, you just take some coffee beans and you put them in a smeltering. Uh, the yogurt is actually not so bad either. You don't even have to deal with like cows and milking them because you can make uh, yogurt from uh, yogurt plus soy milk or milk or fresh milk or soy milk plus a piece of leather to make a starter, uh, which is weird, but sure, whatever. Uh, so yeah, so once you have some yogurt, you can just keep on adding more soy milk. And the soy milk is really easy to make because you just need a uh, like a mallet and some soybeans. And I had some soybeans, so I started like clearing out the stuff that we are not really using for food. And I plant, planted some more soybeans. So that'll be a food item. And then um, the coffee, uh, the sweet potato can be baked. We also have a uh, uh, baked potato on a stick. So pretty veggie heavy. Uh, also carrot juice is just carrot plus uh, mallet. So easy to do and compact. More um, nutrients per item than the carrot itself. Uh, so we're kind of lacking protein here, but I don't really have a good thing for that. So just kind of ignoring that. Um, the rest of the farming, I decided I'm, we're gonna do more of the, uh, the IC2 crop stick stuff, but I think that's gonna wait until we get a little further along in technology because it's pretty expensive in terms of tools to make the crop sticks right now. And doing the crossbreeding, you're constantly using more crop sticks. Um, for example, right, so here we've crossbred um, a yellow stone lily that Hello I got. There. Hello there. Thanks, Alex, for the, for the redemption. And then we got blackthorn and crossbred, and we got some cactus, which we had cactus, but um, it's like I can right click this and maybe harvest. I didn't get anything that time, but I could have gotten some cactus. This will regrow, but if I wanted to crossbreed these things again, I would need to break this. I would get one crop stick back, and I have to put that back and then add another crop stick and just kind of repeat that. Um, and like I said, the, making the crop sticks goes through files and uh, saws and that stuff pretty quickly. So um, I, we're eventually going to be able to do something better. Let's see, what else? I did plant a couple of fruit trees over here because I had one of each of these fruits and I wanted to make, uh, I wanted to get some more so I could eat them uh, just to, you know, taste them for the spice of life. Uh, benefit from our hearts um, more than anything else. So we have uh, orange and dragon fruit. Aw, oh, it escaped. That's interesting. The timing there was very suspicious, right? Because <laughs> I think it decided that the time was up and then there was a delay before it sent the message or something. You might be wondering what's going on over here with all the extra cobblestone. Um, part of that is just to have a path to get across the river. And there was something I discovered uh, off stream that I've been holding off on there is a um, a loot games dungeon down below here 
and the access is over here. So we're gonna check that out. Um, I know a little bit about it from what I've seen from other people's playthroughs. So there's like a mini game in there. If you get it wrong, it explodes. <laughs> so we'll probably check that out. Let me think if there's anything else worth mentioning. Um, I guess the big thing is that just I went through and did a lot of mining, a lot of resource gathering, a lot of smelting. Uh, I didn't leave anything over here. Um, oh yeah, let's go back over to the uh, second base real quick. And like I said, I did. I have been cutting down more of the tree. <laughs> it's a bit more no noticeable now. I was also looking at maybe making a path over that way. Um, although I'm having second thoughts. So the the thinking here, I don't, I don't think I spent a lot of time with the map up. Let's see, where are we? So we're here, and then our kind of spawn area base is over here by the river. So I think it's pretty important in this pack are like biomes and humidity and temperature, especially for farming. And up here in this area, this is um, is a temperate rainforest. So it has very high humidity, but kind of average temperature. Uh, warm, but not hot. Uh, and so that's not ideal. So um, there, there are more ideal biomes like tropical rainforest and that there's a list. I actually have a a spreadsheet <laughs> of them. Um, unfortunately, you can't see the biomes if you're not near them in this version of JEI. So like here, where I am, I can see, oh, this is shield down there at the bottom. Like my location is shield and the area I'm hovering, hovering over is shield. Like and if I look over here, this is cold forest, lush desert, cold plains. But if I go far enough, I can't see the biome anymore. Um, so I really need to like maybe label the biomes when I go to them or otherwise explore and find uh, more ideal biomes for farming. Um, I do have a um, mod, an extra mod called Server Utilities that will allow me to keep chunks loaded. Um, that was something that's recommended in the wiki just to do to kind of add in additionally. Um, so we have that. So just because the area is not like one of the benefits, hold on, let me go outside before I look at the map. One of the benefits of building like farms over in this area is this is inside the spawn chunks. So it's always loaded. But now that I have the thing where I can keep chunks loaded and at some point I'm going to put this on a server as well. So it'll be running all the time, uh, as we start getting <laughs> more automation. So that actually makes sense to do. Um, that I might just um, find a better biome for like farms and such, but that's that's kind of down the road. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we are up to 997 iron ingots. Plus, okay, I don't have any in there. Okay, I didn't leave this smelting. Okay, bunch of stuff. In here, dusts and stuff that still need to be reprocessed. Like here's another over a stack of iron once I wash it and throw it in the uh, smeltery. But yeah, 997 iron, uh, 265 uh, bronze, another 169 copper, 317 tin, uh, a little bit of silver, uh, those are bricks, I don't care, uh, various odds and ends. Uh, a good amount of wood, like a thousand oak logs, various other things. Uh, so, you know, accumulating things. <laughs> I've not been idle. Uh, yeah, so I think... I think, what do I want to do? What do we want to do first? We could work on the steel stuff, or we could go check out the, uh, the loot games dungeon myself some more water while, while that's being considered. 
I think there's some really good loot, potentially. Um, oh. There was something else. Something else. So, um, I did move. Yeah, so we had the loot bags from before from Quest Rewards over at the other place. Uh, <laughs> I've moved that over here. Um, up in the room where I put that one trophy. Uh, so we have all these coins. These are all the coins we've collected so far. Uh, and loot bags. And one of the things I did, there's a thing in the, um, in the quest book to convert loot bags. So you can convert basic Stone Age loot bags into Steam Age ones, which might be a good idea. It's three to one, but better loot. Steam Age loot. So... Uh, that is a thing that I did. Let's do this. I think there's still a few steps that we need to do before we can put down the uh, um, furnace, whatever it's called. The uh, ta -ta -ta -ta, multi plot coals. The uh, brick blast furnace. There we go. So, in this box are, I think, all of the ingredients that we need. I think the thing that's left to do. Uh, is to combine the clay dust and brick dust and turn them into compressed fire clay and smelt them. So we can start by doing that. That's easy enough, right? So we'll just this and this. There we go. And it again. And uh, we should be able to compress them. So that will run for a little bit. We'll have to check in on that. And then the other thing is we have a bunch of gypsum dust. It needs to go and be washed. I think those were the main things right now. There's some more steps where we're making concrete, but that's that's fine. Um, I don't really have. I don't have my cauldron over here, so I'm gonna run back over <laughs> to the other, the other base. Uh, what I'm thinking though is send some of those steps to make it uh, make the uh, the blast furnace. Are gonna take some time. Maybe we can get that started. Maybe I'll even move some of the hoppers. Hoppers are still kind of expensive to make. Uh, I'm hoping that we won't spend. Yeah, you know, eventually we'll be able to do some more like electricity-based things, uh, which will be alternatives to hoppers for moving items and such. Oh, and then. Just a side comment, one of the things that we tried to do, I think that was last Monday's stream, was use the 10 pipes for item movement. And um, I think we just don't have all the things to actually do that. Um, but in the quest, or in the, in, like, yeah, in the quest book, it warns you don't place them down because you won't be able to pick them back up until you have like a steel wrench, I think is, is what it said. Uh, but of course you can destroy them. You you just can't pick them up. And they're not something that are so terribly expensive that I minded uh, just destroying. Just to get them out of the way so that I could use hoppers. So that's what I ended up doing. Alright, so those items just went into the backpack. So move those back out. There we go, and got some gypsum dust. Uh, let's let's put another bucket of water here for next time. All right, so do I let's let's check out the dungeon. It's gonna take a little bit even to work through that stack of stuff. No, actually, let's let's go back. I think I think that area is chunk loaded. Can I see that on this? Uh, you know, I have to go here and then clean chunks. 
Oh, that's too far away. I think it's. I think it is set up to be uh, chunk loaded though. But let's go back. We can double check that and maybe move around some hoppers. Or maybe I can steal a hopper from here. Yeah, let's steal this one. Um, yeah. Should only need one, right? I think. Mm, I might want to one to pull the items out when they're done, and one to put items in, just to just get everything going, since we have like three stacks of stuff. A little over. I think that'll make sense. Oh, missed the jump. All right, so we can see. Uh, we have insufficient steam, so let's um, redirect some steam here. So right now we're using steam on a few different things. Not for this machine. Uh, we'll turn that one off though, and we should be good. The other thing is maybe missing a vent. Looks like we have a vent there, so we should be good. Uh, and let's do that. Huh. I'm surprised. Oh, no, it's there. Okay. All right, all right. So it was, it was still moving items through. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we want those other fire clay dusts to go in there. There we go. Um, provide steam consistently for the entire duration. What's the problem here? I could be wrong about my interpretation of what that... That looks like it's the output, right? Yeah. Make sure I'm not standing anywhere that's gonna... Oh, it's not connected to the steam pipe. That'd be why. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now it's going. I guess there was some steam in there. That's how we process some. All right. Anyway, that's done. Uh, let's put this stuff away. Um, I guess we're not in too much of a rush. Like it's gonna take a minute to. Um, to process some anyway. I think it's gonna take longer to process the. Uh, the fire clay dusts than it is going to be to smelt. So I think this buys us a little time. Should be fine. Now, do I want to... Do I want to leave my stuff somewhere <laughs> before we go into this dungeon? Maybe so. Keep a bucket on me. That might be handy. Um, we might want all the tools, just in case. We might want some blocks. That's an idea. Uh, good luck, uh, Nate. Let's see, maybe some cobble would be good. Let's uh, have a snack. Hmm. A downside of some of the food items we have is that they give us back a stick or a bowl. That might occupy our inventory. Okay, so was there anything else that we needed to get processing going on in here? Uh, I think not yet. Let's look at the quest book again. So we're making fire brick, ship some dust. The fire bricks themselves. Ah, oh, it escaped. They need ship some dust or something that we don't have. Uh, hand the fire bricks and then a bucket of concrete. Now the bucket of concrete needs. A bucket of water, a bucket, stone dust, quartz dust. Okay. So I think when we're ready to do this. Okay. I hope we get both buckets back. 
I guess we'll find out. Um, I think it'll be easiest to... Oh, we have some water right there. So when, when we're ready to, to finish putting everything together, we'll take our stuff over there and we'll uh, put things together. Yeah, in fact, we have a spare crafting station we can put over yonder when we're ready to do that. Here we go. Okay. So while we're waiting for processing, let's... Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, let's see. Before I go, yeah, so there we go. Chunk loaded, claimed area, this little uh, base. Which is another reason to kind of keep everything in, you know, one chunk, two chunk, three chunk uh, chunks. Because <laughs> um, everything inside the borders here will be uh, kept alive as long as I have the game running. Okay. So I think what we'll do is we'll uh, sleep and then we'll break into the dungeon. Uh, I remembered what I was gonna say a minute ago. We were talking. I was talking about the dungeon and um, loot bags specifically. And one of the things we got early on as a loot bag in a loot bag was the low voltage battery buffer and solar panel and. There was something else. Oh yeah, small sodium battery, right? So if we can get some stuff like that, or maybe even some better stuff, I think that's possible to be something we could get from this dungeon. Uh, you know, and anything that's gonna give us a leg up is gonna be great. What are we getting as an effect? Water breathing. Hopefully we don't need that. Uh, another thing, you might be wondering why, why, why is there not, not even like a little bit of water here? I um, needed to pick up a bottle, bottle uh, a bucket of water to put in the cauldron. And all I had was a bucket with uh, creosote in it. So I put the creosote down and I like pushed all the uh, flowing water away. And then when I picked the creosote back up to bring it back to, you know, where I was gonna put it in the furnace, uh, it left it like this. And this is kind of interesting because we are effectively also farming squid now. <laughs> because the squid seem to get uh, trapped on land, pushed in by the current. So, accidental farm. All right, anyway, let's, let's check out this dungeon. Um, I think there's a few different mini games possible. It's okay, harvestable. I think one of the things is when I came across this before, which again, I think was off stream, um, I didn't have a good enough pick to break into it. All right, so that gave us dungeon walls. Can we do anything with these things? Okay, we can make facades. What about with the wall? Okay. Quest complete, trigger loot game. <laughs> where where is that? So another thing that I discovered the other day was that sound. Sounds bad. Uh, is that there's a search feature <laughs> in the uh, in the quest book? Loot games. Okay, so that was in here somewhere. There it is. Loot games. Looks like you found a secret room hidden, not so deep within the earth. Pretty close to the surface, actually. You can find these all over the place and have a chance at sweet, sweet loot if you're good at Simon Says. It counts the highest level completed, so you can fail the other rounds on purpose to go faster if you don't think you can do better. By the way, cheaters, go to Minecraft Hell, where all the blocks have hardness minus one. If you fail with Minesweeper, it blows up. Be sure to make the make room for escape. Make sure no water or oil is flowing into the room, uh, or it will kill you. 
Make sure that no water or oil is flowing into the room because a world generator will kill you and destroy your grave because of cheating. This is a bug. Huh. Okay. Cool. Okay. So I'm pretty sure they're... Okay. <laughs> that, that's a lighting glitch, not water or oil. So that's good. Okay. Uh, do we have time to do this? Looks like it. So I think I right click this. Aha! It is a minesweeper. Okay. So I think uh, right click places a flag. Left click. Yes. Uh, left click opens the cell. <laughs> So who's good at Minesweeper? I think I'm pretty good. Uh, so like, if this is two, then this has to be that. And if this is two, then it can't, there can't be a mine there. If this is a two, there has to be one there. If this is a one, this one has to be three. If this is a one, there has to be one there, which means that there can't be one there, or there, or there, or there, or there, or there, or there. So there has to be one there. So there has to be one there. There has to be one there. Okay. Now, I feel like the... So, again, this is the one I have seen in a test game. Uh, Minesweeper. I think it's like... Um, it's two out of three or something. I don't know if we were going we were gonna to have to do this multiple times. Although I did fail. <laughs> Which is why I don't know. Uh, yeah, so that should be good, that should be good. There's one there, and there, which means there can't be one here anyway, or here. There we go. Hello, Hello there, Foxy Blue. You've joined uh, right at the interesting part. Will I blow up? <laughs> uh, okay, we're playing some Minesweeper in Minecraft. As you do. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. There we go. One, two, three. So there can't be one here. Or here, or here, or here. Yeah. All right. Um, the, the structure seems to acknowledge your efforts. Uh, I need to also keep track of the time in the, uh, in the corner so we can sleep. Hopefully that doesn't break the game. What happens if uh, when I click, it happens to have a mine? I just auto lose? <laughs> uh huh, uh huh. One of, uh, one of your favorite simple games? Yeah, it's a classic. Uh, let's see, so not there, or there, or there. There and there. If this is a three, then there has to be one there, which means there's nothing here. Uh, nothing here, something here, but nothing here. If there's three, then there can't be anything here or here. Here, here. Uh, let's see, there has to be one here. So there can't be one here or here. Something there, not there. Or there, yep, okay. Yeah, something there, so nothing there. Nothing there, nothing there. <laughs> uh, I like how you explain Minecraft as if it's a brand new game. Uh, it's all part of my process of not uh, overlooking things. This is, this is me now explaining Minesweeper as if it's, as if it's a brand new game. Uh, I might be going a little too far. Uh, I'll... Oh yeah, 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 here we go. So three and then three there. Okay, great. <laughs> uh, Alright, so this should be safe. Something 
there, nothing there, or there, or there, or there. Yeah, perfect. Two, three, four. Um, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if I get this one done too, do I just auto win or do I have to, I think this is what the, the um, quest book was saying where you could, you know, just choose to lose on one if you, you know, if you're going to win. Yeah. One, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, there we go, and there, and that's all good. Perfect. Uh, one, two, there you go. One. Okay. Not gonna lie, uh, not a clue how Minesweeper works. Well, I'm glad. <laughs> so, Minesweeper. Um, basically, you open up cells and they'll either have no number because there are no mines adjacent to the cell, or they have a number that says how many mines are adjacent to this cell. So when this says one, that means one of the cells adjacent to it in one of the eight directions has a mine. There was only one unknown cell, which is this one, so the mine must be there. And so then the rest is just like a process of elimination, right? So like, I've already determined that there's two mines here. So this one is adjacent to these two. So this cannot have a mine. Yeah, it is, um, it is a game of logic with a little bit of chance because of course there are times where it's ambiguous, where you just can't know. You can't eliminate all possibilities, but we just want to try to avoid those cases until <laughs> we have to. Uh, logic, yeah, which isn't science. Logic is a prereq prerequisite, one could say, of science, but. All right, so like this is ambiguous, right? So there could be, no it's not, because if there's one here and one here, then there can't be a mine there. Uh, three and three, so there can't be a mine here. There has to be a mine here. If there's two, then there can't be one there. Uh, and if this has two, the only cell options are this one and this one. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, and then if there are two, there must be a mine there and there's not a mine there. And I did it. Oh, and it's nighttime. So here's a question. If I sleep, does it, do we explode? Did we cheat by sleeping? Good. All right. So I think this is the third game. I, I'm also pretty sure that so what I'm hoping is, if we beat all three rounds, we get better loot. That, that's what the prize at the end of this is. It's some really good loot that might be otherwise really challenging to get. So I'm pretty excited about the possibility of winning this. I just need not to screw up. Nothing there, something here, there, and there. Okay, that corner is done. Okay. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Yeah, that has to be a mine. So there can't be one there. So there has to be one there. Has to be one here. So there can't be one here, or there, or there. Or there, or there. Um, there, so not there. So there, and not there. All right, so that's like a side done. Mm-hmm. Thank you. 
Almost there. Alright, just a little corner. Uh, let's see. So this three here. Uh, this is my favorite thing to watch you do so far. Seeing your excitement as you find them. <laughs> there or there or there. <laughs> okay, so what you're saying is I should just become just a Minesweeper streamer? <laughs> What's exciting to me about this is the, the loot we're going to get to the end of this. Now, uh, this kind of reminds me of something else that I was seeing the other day. I saw some videos on YouTube of this. There's this uh, kind of interesting like word association game called um, Infinite Craft. <laughs> Competitive. I actually, though, I made a game um, called Mine Comp, M-I-N-E-C-O-M-P, that was the only thing I've ever done with Ruby on Rails, and it was a, uh, a multiplayer Minesweeper game. <laughs> uh, I, this was like, I don't know, like a decade ago. All right, we are, we're kind of stuck. Um, so there could be a mine here. <laughs> it, I don't know if it exists anymore, but it was something I made once. There could be a mine here. Uh, there can't be one here, but that would be three, so that's possible. Or there could be no mine here, there could be a mine here. That's also possible, if there was like a mine here and a mine here. Then there would have to be a mine. Now that's that's not possible. For this to be one, there has to be a mine in one of these two spots. If there was a mine here and a mine here, then that would be two. So there can't be a mine here. <laughs> There, is, is that a true statement? There can't be a mine here? Because if there was a mine here, this couldn't be one, or this couldn't be one? <laughs> that is a, I, I think that's something that has stumped me in the past. All right, so. Hmm. Well, there has to be a mine here for this to be two. So there can't be a mine there. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, one, two, three. So there's no mine there or there or there uh, or there. So there has to be one there and not one there. Can't be one there, so there has to be one there. Um, still in trouble though. So if there was a mine here, there couldn't be a mine here or here, but there could be a mine here and here. Right? That is possible. There could be a mine here and no mine here or here and a mine here. Hmm. What do you think the chances are that there's a mine in the corner? I, d I don't think there's enough information to go off here to know where else there could not be a mine. So we might as well just guess. Is that is that a true statement? What are the odds that there's four mines right all next to each other like this? Pretty good. Okay. Seems fine. <laughs> so, uh, do we have to win three? Is that how this works? <sighs> well.
For his next trick, he will play with his eyes closed. Uh, yeah, sure. Ah. One, two, okay. So one there, can't be anything there or there or there. Was a mine here? Is that possible? What can we eliminate in this corner? I'm not sure. Let's come back to that. that one up. Ow. Ow. Okay. <laughs> How does this game work again? I mean, obviously, the Minesweeper part I get, I just don't understand how many times we have to do this. Do we just have to beat it three times? Is that the deal? Is it? Is it three out of five? Don't do that one. <laughs> now you tell me. Hmm. I wonder if it's possible that your initial pick on this is is a mine, or if they've set it up so that's not possible. That would be kind of unfair if, uh, if it was not the case. Um, but who said mine super had to be fair? Mm hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, Foxy, Foxy gets what she wants, right? Me, pl me playing Minesweeper. Uh, at least one more time. I think at some point we we just fail. I don't know exactly how that works, but, uh... Mm-hmm, 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 okay. Good. And that has to be there. There, so that's three, so there can't be one there or there. Uh, or there. Let's just keep on working the problem.
So if there can't be a mine there or there. It has to be one there. So there can't be one there. Uh, there has to be one here, and that makes three. So there can't be one there. And with the one, we know that none of the adjacent ones are. There we go. And that's safe, and that has to be a mine, and that has to be a mine, which means none of these can be. None of... What? It was. It was some number out of five. Uh, there we go. Win a mini game and get tons of loot. The structure is pleased and rewards you. So we, we completed some. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, what did we get? What's in the box? Ah, uh, so we got some uh, high speed track. I think is what the HS stands for things for more than twice as fast as normal track so this is from Railcraft, which is a mod in this pack but we could have boosters and transitions uh, we got two forest hives we are eventually gonna do some beekeeping some some big time beekeeping in this pack tropical hive uh, a ball mold so this is gonna be good because this is gonna be one less thing we need to make and this takes steel to make um, so this is going to save us a little bit of steel to make that. So that's nice. And then also a block mold. So that's good stuff. We get some iron tank valves. So I was saying before we need to make some tanks. So there's some stuff for that. 13 rubber sheets. This is going to help us get uh, a quick start in some of the stuff that we're going to be doing once we make steel. Uh, reinforced track, elevator track. Allows vertical minecart movement. Okay, so we get some tracks tracking and we got neapolitan neapolitan ice cream not eaten yet yeah let's eat that there we go nice all right and chest number two some oak drawers it's not nothing <laughs> uh what does it take to actually make this you gotta have strawberry and chocolate and vanilla ice cream of course we need to have uh, vanilla and ice cream, which you can make with soy milk. You can make soy <laughs> ice cream. We get some aluminum gravel ore. More aluminum is good. Uh, we got some raw iron plates. That's good. Some mine carts. These are kind of expensive to make in this pack. Complicated. You gotta have um, wheels and all sorts of stuff. We got some low pressure boiler tank. That's good. And peppercorn sapling is really great in terms of not having to go hunt that down. <laughs> Well, we'll be able to have some black pepper. So that that was a uh, a loot games dungeon. Uh, so Foxy, uh, we got like a minute before I have to take a break. Ow! Um, but I'll, I'll have you know, I did plant some cherry trees along the path here, like we were talking about the other day. So we got some like normal oak trees, but with cherries growing on them. And we got some uh, Sakura trees as well that are a little prettier to look at. So we got a mix. Now, as far as these peppercorn trees, yeah, <laughs> they are, I mean, they're they're normal size in your hand. They're, they're a little oversized in the, <laughs> 
in the rendering. Uh, I think I'll plant these trees like maybe over here. Kind of out of the way. We gotta cut down some of these older trees. But yeah, eventually we'll have some peppercorns here for uh, making all sorts of interesting food items, which is a big part of this pack is making all the different food items. We um, we've actually, since the last Minecraft stream, I have gained a couple, I think at least one extra heart from trying different food items. So. All right. Uh, I'm gonna head over here because that's where our, our next part of our <laughs> adventure lies is in working on the, the blast furnace for steel. Uh, but we're gonna take a break here for just a few minutes. Uh, so that Twitch can be happy. <laughs> uh, we're still processing things. Oh, all right, we're, did this finish? This finish, all right, so before I go, let me put, uh, let's see, where is my wrench? All right, 21 seconds. Let's do this, click this off, there we go. And I do stream in 1440p, I'll have you know. <laughs> Really high res for the Minecraft. All right, be back in just a few minutes with some more. 